Uh, he's hurt. It's probably uh, going to lead him to the DL. It's uh, got him right before the game started today. He takes his swings right before every single day. He goes in the cage, gets some last minute swings, and uh, I think on one of his last swings he felt it pop. And uh, I think we're anticipating a DL stint for him at this point in time. Uh, obviously, that probably has an effect on how Will Myers is pitched in this ball game, getting walked three times. Yeah, it's. I mean. So uh, Solarte is our cleanup hitter today, and uh, we didn't have another one sitting on the bench to put into a spot. We'd already turned in the lineup cards at that point in time. There was no t- there was no time to rearrange the lineup. Uh, it happened after the lineup cards. So uh, at that point in time, you got to insert somebody in the four hole that doesn't typically hit in the four hole and doesn't typically protect Will Myers. And uh, you know you, you could see in the last uh, last at bat, Miguel Montero looked on deck and uh, wasn't going to give Will an opportunity to tie the baseball game. And you know, it's strategic on their end. We're also playing short because Hedges wasn't available today. So. We didn't have a lot of options uh, to insert somebody at that point in time. Right, Joe Lee's threw the ball really nicely today. A lot of ground balls. Double play was a big friend of his tonight. Yeah, he was great. I mean, he gets past that first batter of the game. Uh, obviously, he missed a spot to Rizzo pretty badly there, and he made him pay. Uh, after that, I thought he battled really well. Made big pitches when he had to. Uh, got bit a little bit on 0-2 hit by pitches. He gets in situations where he can put guys away. He had Brian. He had John Jay. Uh, Brian comes around to score eventually. His second running gave up. And, you know, 0-2 front door slider, probably a lower risk pitch to throw right there, and uh, probably gives him a better opportunity to get through that inning unscathed. You attribute the minutes going position the series to, to just a, a, a bump during the season that, that comes and goes, or is it something maybe bigger? No, I, I, I don't. I don't think it's been. A, uh a trend that we've really bucked at any point in time this year consistently. We've struggled uh, hitting, period. Uh, I, I don't think it's like you, you, just a qualifier the men in scoring position. Like Our numbers aren't great, good offensively. So uh, I thought Will took some really positive steps today. Like You have to take walks if they're not going to pitch to you. He did a great job doing that today. I thought Luis Trends took good swings. Uh, I, I don't think it's really men in scoring position. I just think we have to do better offensively all the way across the board. We get in situations where we get that. Uh, Renfro was uh, over Anxious all day, uh, putting pitchers' pitches in play early in the count, and uh, you, you're not going to be successful. The, the the guy in him who was incredibly successful in May, uh, who is going to be successful in the big leagues, like Hunter took those pitches, worked counts deeper, and then put balls in play later in counts that he wanted to put in play. That's when he was successful. So I think each guy's got to kind of look at themselves and, and realize like how they're being pitched, continue to use their mind, and continue to fight. How do you expect to cover second base plus Lortes up? Uh, I think it's something we have to talk about. I'll give AJ a call here right when we uh, we get done. Uh, I mean, we have clearly some options down in AAA. You, you still have uh, Ryan Schimpf back down there. You got Carlos Suárez down there. So we'll we'll talk through how we want to play that. Jose Perella can bounce in and play second base, and we can run some other guys the outfield. So uh, we have some options. I think right now you look up uh, at this point in time. Get Hedges out today. Uh, Margot Dickerson, Jankowski, Solarte like came into the season uh, like relatively thin at the top. Uh, and we've had some serious attrition at this point in time. Is that something that could be addressed by tomorrow, or is it maybe too late for that? I think we'll have to check. It's always tough when I think Triple A's on the West Coast in Fresno right now, and uh, we're over in Chicago playing a day game tomorrow. Sometimes, so sometimes that's logistically very difficult to do. You mentioned Torres swings tonight. It looked like he did a nice job of blocking balls in the dirt as well. He continues to progress defensively. He's getting better and better. I mean, there's a lot of positive things in him. And uh, there, there's the moments where he shows his youth, but there's uh, a lot more moments where he shows his talent, this ceiling. And I think we're excited about what he's doing. He's got a lot of work ahead of him, but uh, he's making some positive contributions right now, especially when you got Austin Hedges down today. He did a really nice job back there with Chessie. Austin available for tomorrow? Uh, we'll check in the morning. I think that's a wake up uh, and check him out. I think he's going to say he wants to play and wants to be out there. I, I saw him walking somewhat gingerly uh, to catch pitches and squatting uh, less than uh, uh, he didn't look ideal uh, when he was squatting down to catch between innings. So we'll check him tomorrow. I know he wants to play. He doesn't like sitting out at all. So we'll check in tomorrow and see whether he's available or not. Looked like there was a meeting with the umpires before the start of this game. Was that just talking about the Rizzo incident and just trying to put anything to rest? Uh, a meeting with the umpires. I saw Jeff Nelson talking to you before the game. Was it regarding that at all or something? Uh, it was actually something totally different about a delivery of one of our pitchers. They wanted to make us aware of something. Do you notice pitchers maybe pitching Rizzo differently or just exactly? 
No, I, I thought honestly, like first at bat, we didn't we didn't go in on him uh, at least in and up, which is a part of the zone you got to get to against him. And uh, we went down and away, and then tried to go down and away again, and it leaked back middle. Uh, the rest of the day, I thought we pitched him fine. Ryan Booker elevated the popped up bunt, and you know we pitched behind and ended up intentionally walking him. So I didn't really feel like there was any drastic change in, in how we pitched him today.